keyword research. So the whole idea of that can get a little daunting. Like, how do you find keywords and which tools are easier to use? And what if you don't wanna pay for an SEO keyword research tool? Like, then what? So I know that the whole keyword research thing can get a little overwhelming. So in today's video, I'm giving you the inside scoop about three free and easy tools that you can use to help you with your SEO keyword research. I'm Mariah, a website strategist over at MariahMagazine.com, where I help online business owners increase their website traffic and their SEO by creating a website strategy that's unique to their business goals and their ideal audience. So today I'm giving you guys the inside scoop about three free and easy SEO keyword research tools that you can use right now without wanting to pull your hair out. Okay, so let's dive in to the first one. So the first tool that I wanna go over is called Ubersuggest. So let's go ahead and enter in a keyword and search it. Once you enter in a keyword, it's going to give you a keyword overview and it's gonna tell you the search volume which is how many people are searching for it. And then it's gonna give you your SEO difficulty which is how hard it would be for you to rank for this specific search term. And then these two numbers over here have to do with paying to show up in search results and Google ads and things like that. So I'm not going to go over these things here. Um, but we can scroll down a little bit and see a graph. And this shows you the searches per month. And you can see that it went up in January and then it drops a little bit down in February. Uh, obviously not by like too much because that's still like a ton of searches. Um, but if you scroll down a little bit more, you can also see keyword suggestions along with their search volume right here and the SEO difficulty. So it highlights which ones would be possible for you to rank in search results for, which is super cool. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, it'll show you the content that is ranking on the first page of Google for that search term that you typed in. So this is really interesting and helpful because it allows you to kind of get an idea of what kind of content Google thinks is the most helpful for people searching for that search term that you typed in. So it'll give you the estimated visits, the social shares, and the domain score. And then actually, if you go ahead and you click on these, it will open up to the page that is ranking for it so you can see what kind of content is on there. So Uber Suggest is really awesome. And then the second free tool is Google. So Google gives some pretty amazing insight when it comes to keyword and key phrase creating. So if you start typing in one of your keywords, let's do wedding Google starts to guess what you're typing in and starts to show a list below the search bar so some people think that these suggested phrases are based on your own search history but actually Google showing you which key phrases are most commonly searched based on the words that you've already entered so that's really interesting right so let's go ahead and click wedding guest dresses and then if we scroll to the bottom Google also gives you additional key phrases and keywords that are typically popular for the things that you've already typed in so that's a pretty easy and beginner friendly way to start keyword research if you're not really looking to get like too overwhelmed you can still start getting some keyword and key phrase ideas by using Google itself and the third tool that I want to go over quickly is key W finder so it lets you find high search volume long tail keywords with low competition for free so I know that that sounded like a mouthful but that's exactly what we want so we want long tail keywords so a combination of at least three words put together with low competition so keywords that aren't going to be as hard as others to rank for so let's say like wedding planner in buffalo new york that one would have a lower competition than the keyword phrase wedding planner so that's what we're talking about there so we can go ahead and type in wedding planner and we can click find keywords and it gives us a ton of information so we can see the keyword difficulty here 
we can scroll down and see a bunch of keyword suggestions that it gives us. It also has the search volume and it gives you information for pay-per-click in Google AdWords. So if you guys are running ads, this is really good information to look at. And then it also gives you that SEO difficulty that Uber suggested. And then it highlights it in a color just so that it's like easier to see at a glance as well. So the thing about KW Finder is that you only get five searches every 24 hours. So basically they know how powerful their tool is. So they kind of restrict the free use a little bit. Um, if you'd like, you can purchase one of their plans. But if you wanted to combine the free version of this tool with another tool, it could be extremely beneficial. So if you find a few long tail keywords using the other free tools that I just went over and then pick five of them that you kind of want to compare and then plug them into KW Finder and then you'll be able to see which ones fit your SEO strategy the best. So that's it for today's SEO tip. If you're looking for more information on SEO or website traffic, click on the link in the description below to download a free copy of my ultimate blog post SEO checklist. And if you have an SEO or website strategy question that you'd like answered, go ahead and comment below so I can help you understand the world of websites just a little bit better. And don't forget to give this video a super quick thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the good videos I have coming your way.